been isolated from society because of our nation, belief, political views, and we came here to build a new life. But what we find is total isolation. We have not been accepted by our own society, and now we are not accepted by the new society. We are still strangers, and we don't have any rights. Yes, we are not starving, not under bombing right now, but we are living inside the camp like animals in the cage. Most of the time we just eat and sleep and certain about our future. We are fed up with never ending free time. This is time is killing us because we are not allowed to do anything. Having no right to work, to get money for education and the simplest right for self-expression. We go deep inside our terrible memories. We stay along with our fears, with our past. We get depressed, passive, and after this long waiting time, we have lost all hope. We lost our self-confidence. This time can last for five, six, even 20 years. We ask ourselves, what have we done to become prisoners? The women in the camps are isolated in double sense. They are isolated also inside the camps. Many women who run away from suppression find the same situation in the isolated camps. There are many women who never went outside Central Senghal from the day they arrived. We don't want to abuse the Danish society. We want to enrich, to support, to build a new, colorful future together in harmony. To bring new power, new skills, new views, new possibilities. We want to feel ourselves useful. Some of us have a very important knowledge. We can bring the best quality from our culture, the Danish culture, and enrich the society. Uh, we just need to have a chance to do it, to have a right for action. The only way for refugees to become useful part of Danish society is to let us live and work outside these camps. The Trampoline House is a mixed community of refugees and other residents of Denmark building a new community together and support one another in difficult process of integration. The Trampoline House is a user driving community and cultural house where we break down the barrier between them and us and we create an alternative community which is not the isolating camp and not the excluding society. It is a place where we work like equal. Here we are faces instead of number and we are creating a new colorful society. The government will soon come out with a proposal and allow asylum seekers to live and work outside the camps. 
but we are worried that they will exclude some of the asylum seekers, rejected asylum seekers, and especially asylum seekers who will not cooperate with the police about deportation. That means that people who spend the longest period inside the camps will not be included. That's why we are running a campaign where we demand that all asylum seekers will have a right and possibility to live and work outside camps after six months. On May 13, we are having a big manifestation where we walk outside the camps together. On May 13, we will walk out of our apartments, houses and asylum camps, unite in streets and squares. On May 13, we will demand that the government keep their promise, that asylum seekers will be given the right to live and work outside asylum camps. The government says some, we say all. Oh. where you can find more information so who is interested can just come and get some.